Hey guys. <laughs> this dress is so weird. It like is not where the boobs should be. Today, I'm gonna be making homemade cinnamon rolls. I made cinnamon rolls before on this channel, but they were like pre-packaged, so that doesn't really count. So I'm gonna be making fresh from scratch. Cinnamon rolls. I've never made like any type of dough or bread or things containing yeast. I think it's the cottage core that's inspiring me to bake from scratch. I like made chicken in this yesterday and it like, I don't know. Chicken just freaks me out in general, like it not being cooked all the way. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna move this trash bag. I just realized there's a fucking trash bag chilling. Don't even worry about that. <laughs> this shit in my armpits. I'm a little stubby. It's not bad. I'm following a recipe off of Pinterest, like always. Where did I see someone make these? I think it was Cody Ko. He made a video making cinnamon rolls. And there was someone else too, though, I swear. I compared this recipe to kind of what they were doing. I think, oh no, it was a TikTok. It was a cottagecore TikTok of them making cinnamon rolls. I put lipstick on earlier. It was like really old lipstick, like really old. And put it on my lips. So literally, it was on there for like 30 seconds and it started burning. It still burns and I'm kind of scared. I put lip gloss on now, the Fenty. I don't know why I decided to you know, like fix my posture. Why does my arm look so thick? It looks skinny like that. God, skinny. <laughs> so you think I'm skinny? Okay, sorry. I don't know why I decided to put that on my lips. Literally, it's like really fucking old. I'm not even gonna tell you how old because it's like really fucking old and I am embarrassed. Anyway, let's get our ingredients. It says warm milk, but I'm gonna be using almond milk because I don't drink anything else. <laughs> Instant yeast, sugar, salt. I'm literally I'm choking. I like ate a bite of a granola bar and I'm like choking. I'm like crumbs. <laughs> Two eggs. I literally never worked with yeast before, so I have no idea how to do this. I don't have a mixer, which would probably really, really help in this scenario, but I have this. I hate this thing because it's like silicone. Why? But also, a fork. Dude, I'm literally choking. Was it the lipstick? Am I fucking dying because I put fucking super old lipstick on my... If this is it, this is a sad fucking way to go. You're getting a little anxious. One cup warm milk. It says like hot liquid will kill the yeast. This is new milk, yeah. So it says to take the temperature. By the way guys, I'm gonna be posting a new video every Friday. It says I end the video. But it do be in the description though. I'm a little scared. I just be getting anxious for shit like this and then I mess it up because I'm anxious and then I'm just like, I got this coffee today. Pete's coffee. Not the best. It smells good though. Doesn't that sound kind of fucking annoying? I got this Chobani oat vanilla milk. Chobani vanilla oat milk. And it's really good. I really hope this isn't too hot. <sighs> it's steaming. Fuck. I have my thermometer, which I got from my sugar wax video. I thought it was broken because Prim chewed on the part where you like, it says it's 120, which it says it has to be between 120 and 130. So I kind of, I kind of hit the nail on the head, if you ask me. She chewed like this part and I thought it was broken, but it works occasionally. So I don't know how accurate it is. in a stand mixer. Combine the warm milk yeast sugar. This like scares me. What if I like mess it up? Mmm. Oh yeah, it's def, def warm. Def not hot. Oh my god, I almost poured that whole fucking packet in there. That's not how it goes. One packet equals one fourth ounce. Approximately two. Mmm. The thing is, oh. There's three teaspoons in a tablespoon, correct? And then I need one tablespoon of yeast. One packet is two and one fourth teaspoon, so I need a little bit more than one packet. Ooh, that's that's weird. Ah, it freaks me out a little bit. It looks like little miniature microscopic maggots. maggots. It's so weird that this is like living. Isn't that like really weird? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Right, we got our yeast in. It smells like a pretzel, dude. It literally looks like little tiny maggots. Using a dough hook. Sorry. Ooh, that's so freaky. I don't know where the fuck my tablespoon is. I'm literally using. I'm literally using a one fourth teaspoon to measure tablespoons. The thing with this salt is it's like so thick. Look at this, innovative, smart. I don't think I added enough, added enough sugar. Oh my god, I can't do math. Okay, so four one fourth teaspoons is one teaspoon. I did twelve. Jesus, take the wheel. 
12 cubes. So that equals one tablespoon, correct? So I need to do, oh my God. Wait, is this it? You're lying, you're lying. Oh, that's a teaspoon, which is better than doing three. Okay, I did three of these. So I need to do six more. That's it. Bro, I'm literally about to fucking mess this up. Right. I need to focus one second so I don't this up. One tablespoon. I would literally cry if like this is actually not accurate. It smells so good. All right, got all the butter. What else do we need? Two small eggs. Whoa. Oh, these eggs cracked easily. And then mix on low, be low with my hand. That's a little mixture. So I started reading this book series a while ago. I don't know if I ever talked about it, but I've been reading The Raven Cycle. And I finished the first book, I'm on the second book. And it was so hard for me, for, like so hard for me to read. But I got it as an audio book because Audible now does two free books when you, this literally sounds like an Audible fucking ad right now. Honestly, I wish. They do two free credits now when you like do it. So I got that and it's making it so much more easy it's making it so much easier to read. It's like a good series, but it's honestly like so fucking slow. Like if you are fine with like a super, super slow burn, then that this book series is for you. But I just don't, I'm gonna try my hardest to finish it because I really, really want to finish it, but God damn. But I just want to find new books here. I can't, I still can't get over the Cruel Prince series. Sorry, it's the Folk of Air series or something like that. I just call it the Cruel Prince just easier. But I still will never, I don't think I'll ever get over that book series. It's my favorite and I and I already want to reread it. Ooh, it's turning into a zatter. How many cups have I done? I might have to play back the footage. Getting thick. I think that was two cups. Let's hope. I'm getting flour everywhere. I need to get like a jar to put it in because these bags are just so messy. It's literally everywhere. Real thick in here. I'll show you guys what the dirt looks like in a second. I'm spilling it literally everywhere. All right, I'm gonna use my hands because it's a little thick. Ooh, it's a little sticky. It's like really sticky. Oh no. Look at that. Let's add more flour if needed. That doesn't seem right, bro. How are these people making these recipes up? And then it's just, how is it not sticky for them? I just don't, I do not understand. The dough should be soft and sticky, but pull away from the side of the bowl. Okay, it's like pulling away from the side of the bowl a little bit, but it's like also, it smells really good. Hand was bad, bad, bad idea. Bad, bad idea. Oh my God, guys, let me tell you about this show I just fucking watched. Teenage Bounty Hunters, it just came out on Netflix. I finished it within like two days. It is so, so good. Definitely one of my new favorite Netflix shows ever. Really, really liked it a lot. It was really, really fucking good. It was so good, so well done. Ugh, I never get over it. Watch it if you don't have anything to watch on Netflix. It's so, oh my God. I love it. <laughs> Very stressed. Oh, I want it off my hands. <laughs> Literally, look at this. Quite a mess. Oh. It's okay, it's okay. It's gonna turn out amazing. These are gonna be the best fucking cinnamon rolls to ever grace planet Earth. So I'm gonna use my strength. Hey, that's actually looking better. Oh, use my strength for the dirt ball. Trench. This doesn't really look that appealing, but it says transfer dough to a large, lightly greased mixing bowl. This is my large mixing bowl. I actually don't own another one. So do I just like wash that? Yes. Get out. Get out dough. You do it. I believe in you. You're beautiful. I'm gonna wash this, lightly grease it, and then put it back in here. It's weird because this recipe, it doesn't make, it doesn't tell you to knead the dough. Which I thought was like a thing. I don't have anything to cover it with except for this microfiber towel. So I'm gonna use that and put it in the oven for an hour. I'm gonna clean up and then wait for this to prove for an hour. Let me set the timer. It's so weird that I don't have to knead the dough. It seems a little sketch to me. I'll be back in an hour. I'm back. Oh my god, I just literally stepped in water. Is it your fault, Prim? It's fine, I'll just go put my Crocs on. My Halloween socks got wet. It's been over an hour, a little bit over an hour. I'm gonna pull this out of the oven and hopefully it's at least twice the size. Hopefully you can't see my boob. <gasps> Ooh, she thick. Oh my God. Okay, okay, okay. It's actually a lot bigger. She chunky. Oh my God, that's so cool. I've never done this before. I might just use these two circle pins because, all right, wait a minute. We can put cinnamon rolls in here, right? And I don't want to mine by 13 pounds. So, roll dough out to a 12 by 18 inch rectangle. I'm gonna do it on this baking This is 12 by 17 inches. So like, basically I have to do it the size of this pin. I also do not have a rolling pin. Do I have a rolling pin? 
Gotta get that thumbnail. I'm gonna use like a cup to roll it out. I have this big water bottle. Works perfectly. This is fun. This is a messy task. That'd be fun though. Fun to not be on my phone 24 seven. It's a nice rolled out dough. Brush the dough with one fourth cup melted butter. And we're gonna put this shit straight in the, like that. I never knew like cinnamon rolls were literally just brown sugar and cinnamon in the filling. I mean, it makes sense, I just didn't know. Mix the brown sugar and the cinnamon together. I've literally had the worst fucking anxiety lately. Like every single morning, without fail, I wake up just with like extreme anxiety. Like I literally wake up like I'm woken up by anxiety, like panicking, freaking out. Yesterday I woke up at 5 a.m. just with anxiety for like an appointment I had to make for something. And I haven't done it yet and I like literally woke up at 5 a.m. Why can't I just think of this during the day? I woke up at 5 a.m. and I was just like, I need to make this appointment. I need to make this appointment now. Like, I need to do it now. What am I doing? I'm a piece of crap. Like, I need to do this. Like, if I don't do it now, like, I'm gonna die. Like, literally the this craziest stuff. And I'm just like, what? This butter is really hot. Then I couldn't go back to sleep for over an hour and a half. I was just literally laying there. I got on the site and like tried to make an appointment. And then I was just like laying there so anxious. And this will happen just, my hands are like so crusty from the stuff. This will literally happen for like anything. Like YouTube, I'll like wake up in the middle of the night or in the morning and just be like, I'm not doing enough. Like I need to go edit a video. During the day, I'm fine. I don't know what's going on, but literally every single morning. And I, it doesn't leave into I'm out of bed. As soon as I get up out of bed, I'm fine, which is so fucking weird. I don't know why. It's still a little hot, but it's fine. Sprinkle mixture over buttered dough. Oh my god, look at the sprinkle. It's like so satisfying. It sprinkles so nicely. It's not like clumpy. It's like literally, oh my God, this is it. This is the, the life. Mm -hmm. yeah. So happy about this right now. This was worth it. Everything was worth it. All the pain, all the struggling. It truly, truly was worth it. Brown sugar really makes a dessert. Try like brown sugar and cookies instead of white sugar. That shit is different. Dude, roll up tightly lengthwise. You don't have to be more specific. At work. Oh my god, I should have been doing that literally the whole time. You just gotta roll hard though because it's like hella sticky. You just gotta roll with it. Oh, this is like really hard. Oh, it's getting very sticky under there. It doesn't sound like a porn. It's so fragile. I like don't want to fuck it up. Now, I don't have a thread, so I'm just gonna cut the ends off real quick. 12 slices. I just did that perfectly. It's like literally falling apart. I don't know if these are gonna be good at all. If these are not good, I would never try to bake anything again. I literally don't know what I did wrong. Did I not show them enough love? I love you. Look at this shit. It's like literally, ha ha ha. It would really help to have a thread. Do I do not know? You know what show I wanna rewatch? I used to love Supernatural, like love it. And I haven't watched it in years and I could not tell you a single thing about that show. But I just know that I really love, dude, this is literally, it was really bad. Cover and let rise for 45 minutes. So we're not even like close to done. Because they're gonna rise for another 45 minutes. I'm gonna finish my movie and then I'll be back to bake them. This is a lot of steps. Okay, it's been 45 minutes. They look a lot better. They actually look like cinnamon rolls. They're so cute. They smell so good. Preheated the oven at 325. And it says bake rolls for 20 to 30 minutes or till brown. Dude, they look so much better now that they plumped. I gotta wait till the oven is preheat and then I'm gonna put these in. I'm not okay right now. What the actual fuck? I don't know if I mentioned what movie I was watching, but I was watching Remember Me with Robert Pattinson and I was not expecting that. Like I was thinking because Remember Me, like the title, I was like, oh, maybe. What? I literally thought that was gonna be like a, a love movie, like a romance. Romantic. Flash romance movie. I'm literally not okay right now. So burnt my oven mitt the other day. So we have to go buy another one, which we just bought this one. But what the fuck? I like could tell something was about to happen because of the music and the way things were happening. I might have shed a tear. I was like, never in my mind did I expect that to happen. I'm in it more. When they showed 
the thing on the chalkboard. I was like, what does that mean? What? Bro, it literally took a minute. Then I saw it. I realized. And then I was like, wait, you're lying. It's lying right now. I don't know why I never watched that movie. It's literally like 10 years old or something like that. But like, I was not expecting a twist. I was expecting a romantic, cute little movie. That wasn't what happened. They're done. They've been in there for 30 minutes. It said 20 to 30 minutes. Oh yeah, they're done. They smell so good. To make the f to make the f icing now. I'm emotionally unstable right now. The eight ounces cream cheese. Get out. Get out. Powdered sugar. I'm about to complain for a second, bro. I gotta clean all this up. And I gotta wake up early. It's already 11 o'clock. Why does it say four to eight ounces of cream cheese? How do I know? How do I know the amount I need to put? I understand that. No, put it in exact amount. <laughs> I guess I'll put six ounces. I'm a little sad. I'm gonna finish putting the rest of the stuff in here. I don't know when my camera's gonna die, so I'm just gonna make the glaze. I keep like putting my knives and stuff in the sink, but like I need them, so why am I doing that? Who knows about these? This is what it is like to be lazy. I'm using this to level this shit. How am I supposed to beat together these ingredients? These ingredients don't seem beatable. I'm a mess. I'm a mess. Half teaspoon vanilla. Oh my god, I just put way too much. It like is spilling out the side. Okay. Two tablespoons of milk. To just eyeball this shit. Okay, so my camera died and I'm kind of stressed out because I'm trying to make the glaze and it's literally just soupy clumps and they literally look like someone threw up on them. Cheers. I'm dipping it. It's a little disappointing. I don't think I like the icing. I don't think I like cream cheese icing on cinnamon. I like like just a glaze. Like, mm -mm. it's not it. Um, well, I'm not disappointed in this. It's sad, but it's fine. They're not horrible. The Trader Joe's cinnamon rolls are so good. Put some butter on them right after they come out the oven. Bitch, so that is the best cinnamon roll I've ever had in my life. They honestly hit different. I have literally icing all over the place. Hope you enjoyed this video. A little bit of a fail, but it was a fun time. Wouldn't do it again, but it was a fun time. Subscribe if you liked it. I love you guys. Bye. Dude, I literally forgot to tell you guys this, but when I like went to sit down to watch the movie once these were like proving, I like, my finger was burning. And I had like sliced, like sliced the top of this finger, I think it was. And I was like, oh, it's just that, like maybe it's just this finger, I don't know. And then I like look at it and there's like literally a huge gash on my finger and it's like bleeding bad. And I was just like, what the f I have no recollection of cutting my finger at all. I don't know, where the f did I cut my finger? Didn't cut it with a knife or felt it, you know? That's weird. Hello.